Hello and welcome back to This Week at Endicott. I'm Eddie Fitzgerald. And I'm Jay Rebray. Let's take a look at what's happening this week across campus. Attention seniors, on Wednesday at 4.30 p.m. and Gullies, the Endicott Transition Team will be hosting a Leaving the Nest gathering that will prepare seniors for after college. Free drink tickets and food will be provided as well as the chance to win a Senior Week ticket. At 5 p.m., head over to the Little Theater for cultural presentations featuring the Czech Republic and Italy. There will be attendance credit for all study abroad applicants. Also at 5 p.m., the Interfaith Chapel is hosting an Ash Wednesday service. Need some stress relief? Head to the Interfaith Chapel on Thursday at 4 p.m. for a Goals Pause Meditation Session. At 4.15, the Beverly Council of Aging is hosting an intergenerational game night. Volunteer to play a good old-fashioned board game or pool with local residents. Transportation is provided, and you can sign up through the Blue Buzz email. At 9 p.m., be sure to grab your friends and head over to the stage room in Lower Callahan as CAB presents Late Night Yoga. You can sign up through the link in your Blue Buzz email. At 9 p.m., it's 21 plus night in gullies. On Friday at 10 a.m., the Community Giving Tree is looking for volunteers to help sort and organize donations to distribute to families in need in Middleton, Mass. Sign up to help out through the Blue Buzz email. Also at 10 a.m., Rev. Gail Cantor will be hosting a meditation for improved academic success in the Library 204. Stop by for some helpful stress relief and learn how to clear your mind. At 2 p.m., Landmark Senior Living is looking for volunteers to help out. For more information and to sign up, click the link in your Blue Buzz email. At 5 p.m., the Jewish community is hosting a Drumming Circle Shabbat in the Interfaith Chapel. Join them for dinner and drumming. At 6.30, sign up to volunteer at Northeast Arc Friday Night Happenings. Click the link in your Blue Buzz email to join. At 6.45 p.m., CAB is hosting a trip to Captain Marvel movie premiere. Tickets are only $5 and transportation is provided. You can purchase yours through the link in the Blue Buzz email. At 8 p.m., Late Night Loca is hosting canvas bag painting in Lower Callahan. Gear up for all your spring break adventures with your new tote. On Saturday at noon and 2.30, baseball will be playing back-to-back -back games against Bates in the North Field. Make sure to head over to cheer on our goals. At 5 p.m., the ASB Chipotle fundraiser will be taking place at Chipotle on Dodge Street in Beverly. Mention Endicott ASB at checkout for proceeds to benefit the alternative spring break. At 6 p.m., men's tennis will be taking on UMass Boston at the Bass River Tennis Club. Make sure you check them out. At 8 p.m., Lower Callahan is hosting pancakes, painting, and PJs. Join the fun as you paint your own mason jar on your PJs while eating some pancakes. There will be a prize for the best pajamas. On Sunday at 4.45, volunteers are needed for the St. Peter's dinner serving for local community members in need at the St. Peter's Church. Click the link in your Blue Buzz email to sign up and do your part. At 7 p.m., head up to the Fieldhouse for an exciting game of pickleball. On Monday from 3.30 p.m. to 4.30 p.m., grab a shamrock shake courtesy of CAB in the Lower Callahan. Later at 5 p.m., the Grief and Support student meeting is in the chapel. If you are grieving the loss of a loved one or supporting someone who is, you do not have to be alone. Join others who understand. On Tuesday, her campus is hosting a DIY terrariums event in Lower Callahan between 12.30 and 1.30. Then at 8 p.m., stop by Goalies for their weekly trivia night and test out your knowledge for some great prizes. On March 13th at 6.30 p.m., the Athletic Training Club is presenting a volleyball tournament in the Post Center to benefit the a Heartbeat Foundation. Cost is $50 per team of six to eight players, and you can sign up to participate through the link in your Blue Buzz email. Now let's send it over to sports with Lauren and Maisie. Greetings, goals. Welcome to EC Sports. I'm Lauren LaCava. And I'm Maisie Ross. Let's see how our teams performed this past week. The Endicott women's ice hockey team will travel to number two nationally ranked Plattsburgh State on Wednesday, March 6th to play in the first round of the NCAA tournament at the Ronald B. Stafford Ice Arena. The team received an overtime goal from Jillian Gibbs 11 minutes into the extra frame to defeat third-seeded Mooresville State College 1-0 on March 3rd in the CHC Championship game. With the win, the goals captured their first CHC Championship title in program history and will make their first NCAA Division III tournament appearance. The Endicott Club men's roller hockey team captured its first ever Eastern College Ro Roller Hockey Association Division III Regional Championship this weekend behind a 4-1 record in tournament play. The girls defeated Temple, Yeshiva, Syracuse, and Oswego. Jonathan Waring was named the MVP of the tournament. Waring scored seven goals and dished out 11 assists in five games. 
Along with his postseason awards, Corey Eisenband claimed Division III Player of the Year accolades. The number 11 nationally ranked Endicott men's volleyball team split a try match against number 15 Elms and Vassar on Saturday evening at McDonald Gym. Bryn Lipton led the charge in a set four via three kills in a service ace. Donovan Day, Jeremy Dosky, Seth Brackett, and Eric Roman also contributed one kill apiece. Chad Riordan facilitated the majority of the offense via a team high 24 assists. Defensively, Ryan Healy also logged a match high and season high 16 digs. Endicott freshman second baseman Christian Allaire has been named the CCC Baseball Rookie of the Week. The baseball team defeated number four nationally ranked Trinity 5-4 on March 3rd to wrap up its three-game weekend series against the Tigers. The Commonwealth Coast Conference Office has announced the 2019 softball preseason coaches poll, and Endicott took the top spot with 75 points and four first place votes. The goals get the 2019 season started on Sunday, March 17th at 2.15 p.m. against Mount St. Mary in Florida. That's the week in EC Sports, girls. Thanks for watching. Get out there and support your teams. That's all we have for this week, girls. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.